Hello, a great welcome to Ideas Tariqa tutorial. Myself, Jarajan P. This is tutorial number 27. Ideas Tariqa is capable of performing a linear buckling analysis of the join model. This tutorial provides the procedure for implementing the buckling analysis and the interpretation of analysis results. For the strength assessment of components, Idea Statica uses geometrically linear analysis. However, the results of such an analysis is acceptable only if the buckling issues are totally eliminated from the joint components. Idea Statica is capable of performing a linear buckling analysis of the joint model. Based on the information available from the Idea Statica website, it essentially considers three groups for the local buckling check. The group one considers plates connecting individual members. In this case, the rules applicable for the members are also used for the buckling verification of connected plates. Accordingly, a safe critical load multiplier of 15 and higher is the requirement in such cases. Group two considers stiffening plates in the joints which also includes stiffeners, ribs, and short haunches. In such cases, a safe critical load multiplier of 3 and higher is the requirement. Finally, the third group consists of the closed sections and thin walled sections, which requires a detailed case specific study. So, let us start Idea Statica tutorial number 27. Please note that the link for the playlist for all previous tutorials is given under the description of the video. So the simple model that is used for the buckling analysis is shown here. It essentially consists of a beam which receives uh, three concentric bracings through a gusset plate and the bracing members are connected to the gusset plate through the bolts. So the description of the model is uh, already shown here. So as you can see that B1 essentially consists of uh, an HE140 beam and all the bracings are essentially double angles under by 100 by 10 size. And uh, uh, considering the loading effects, you can see that uh, of the three bracing members, two are uh, essentially in tension. So the applied loads are in tension as shown here. And uh, the third member, it receives a compressive force. So the buckling analysis uh, that we conduct in this tutorial will be focused on uh, uh, this member because it is under compression and its connection with the gusset plate. Okay, so uh, let us straight away go for uh, the strength analysis. So as usual, so we just press the calculate button for the model. So let us see the analysis results first. So before going to the buckling analysis, it is important that uh, we ascertain the strength of the various components and if required, the corresponding members have to be redesigned and then only we have to go for the buckling analysis. So in this case, we have seen the analysis which is already shown here. It, has, it is performed for 100% of the loads. And we have seen that the, uh, the strain in the plates it is limited to 0.4% which is uh, very much less than the allowable target of 5%. And then the boards, it is utility factor is of the order of 0.95 and the belts it is 0.6 approximately. So we have seen that as far as the applied loads are concerned, okay, the uh, various components of the connection are uh, working well, there is no issue. So now what we will do is that in order to perform the buckling check, we straight away go for the check uh, ribbon, so press it. So in this and here under cap rate, we have the two options here, the stress strain analysis and the stress strain buckling analysis. The stress strain analysis is already run. So let us go for straight away for the stress strain buckling analysis. So, yeah, as you can see that now the idea static are proceed for the buckling analysis and it will provide us all the results relevant to the buckling analysis. So, here please remember that uh, the various components that will be investigated during uh, the buckling analysis will be the connection plates, the connector members and uh, whether a connection member or a connection component is critical, it will all demonstrated by the buckling analysis. Yes. So here, as you can see that in addition to our stress strain analysis, in addition to what we call as the plastic strain analysis, we have one more parameter that is buckling 10.78. So this is normally we call as the safe load multiplier or the critical 
self load multiplier this means that we have an applied load of a p on this member okay and once the actual load reaches 10 times the applied load the buckling will prevail okay so right now it has got a safety factor of 10.78 for buckling so before uh, going for uh, the detailed discussion on buckling let us straight away go to the buckling okay so here when you press the buckling button you will get the results for uh, the buckling analysis so here one thing one very important thing is that the local buckling of the joint it is checked through look here we have got a load case because this load case is very important because all the buckling analysis results are expressed in terms of multipliers these multipliers are nothing but the number which should be multiplied with the loads relevant to the particular load case in order to arrive at the buckling loads so look here now let us see the for example as you can see from this table that it has uh, investigated six modes of this particular connection and it has provided us what will be the safe load multiplication factor okay for each mode shape now let us investigate for uh, first of all the the deflected shape of the joint under each buckling mode so what we can do is that we can straight away go for uh, the uh, buckling mode so here we have the buckling shape so we'll go for the buckling shape okay so look here so as you can say that we are in mode one so the shape one means it's a mode one so here one thing is very clear <coughs> from this so let us also have an idea of the strains as well okay so we have uh, the strains that is associated with the normal loads we as we have already seen it is 0.4 percentage which is less than 5 percentage so let us straight away go for the buckling shape yes in this buckling shape this is the buckling mode shape or mode one of the joint so here we find that okay the critical load multiplier is 10.78 and we see that here as expected this is a double angle member so we find that here basically the buckling of the joint is initiated from the buckling of the primary member not from the connected plate okay because we know that this is essentially consists of sing, uh, single angle members connected together so the buckling it is, as it shows is affected by the primary member and we have a multiplier of 10.78 and as we know the idea statica uses a target multiplier uh, multiplication factor of 15 for the primary members this is the various code provisions especially in relevant to the euro course it suggests that for the buckling uh, verification the multiplier shall be uh, used uh, of uh, 15 and here we have got 10.78 what does it mean this means that in order to avoid alter the buckling phenomena this member has to be furthermore uh, strengthened that means we can uh, either choose for a next larger size of the angle or we can go for a larger thickness because we find that this is less than the target value of 10.78 which means that this angle member will need to be revised for the consideration of buckling now let us see uh, so here we see that in more shape one it's a primary angle member that is uh, subject to the buckling now let us go to the mode two yes in mode two also the same thing it's an angle member but you can see that the mode shape is altogether different from mode two with a slightly higher uh, okay uh, factor that's 11.59 okay so one thing you can see that as the mode number increases you can say that okay the multiplier multiplier value is also increased so in specific to this connection we can say that as far as mode 1 2 3 are concerned they are more critical because in such cases the factor is less than 15 okay whereas we find that for 4 5 and 6 modes okay the factor is somewhere very close to say 15 and above 15 so for this joint we conclude that three modes are very significant to us so and one method of keeping this joint safe from buckling is to increase the size of the angle member okay so we can also see the more shape three look here the more shape three everywhere we find that it is basically the member that is creating the problem to us the primary member now coming to the mode six so here you can see that the mode 6 yes a slight amount of stresses has transmitted in this buckling mode uh, to the beam as well okay so that is all about uh, the buckling analysis and uh, please remember that from this buckling analysis as far as this model is concerned uh, we conclude that in this case the buckling is initiated by the 
connected member and hence according to the various caudal requirements a target value of 50 shall be the basis for uh, uh, the acceptance of the results so in this case we find that the values are less than 15 which means that the angle the size of the angle members have to be increased okay so finally we can also go for the report so in the report as usual we get to you know the various uh, parameters from the strength analysis from the buckling analysis results uh, so that we can see it uh, uh, on a case to case basis okay and uh, we can uh, uh, study okay the critical uh, aspects that is governing the analysis of the results okay so here is the report finally so here we can say that yes so here you can see that the buckling is at 10.78 the status of we obviously it is not okay status because this is less than 15 and uh, here you will find as usual the various strength results the strain analysis results and the overall stress results analysis etc okay so anyway uh, this results uh, in this report we have not asked for the buckling more shapes because we have seen that the buckling more shapes 1, 2 are, 1, 2 and 3 are very critical to us so that's all for uh, today's session uh, we'll come up, uh, come up with uh, a different join model okay for the buckling analysis in the next tutorial so that's all and uh, thanks a lot for uh, listening uh, and have a nice day